Hi, today's video is for people who are planning to apply for a master's in civil engineering at the Indian Institute of Science or who have already applied this year for uh, MTech in civil engineering at the Indian Institute of Science. So please stay tuned. I'll talk about a few important things. So firstly, the eligibility for the course. Uh, second is the selection process. Third is the area of studies that are available at IAS in civil engineering. And fourth is the preliminary course structure that uh, is present at, for the MTech course in civil engineering. So let's get started. So the MTech course or the Masters in Technology course at IASC or Indian Institute of Science in the Department of Civil Engineering is a two years program. Uh, the eligibility for this is that you should have a Bachelor's of Engineering or Bachelor of Technology that is BE or BTech degree uh, and uh, with a second class uh, marks or second class pass whatever it is uh, or above that. Uh, you can also be a civil engineering graduate or you can be a, even a mechanical engineering graduate. Both civil engineering and mechanical engineering graduates are eligible to apply for courses or for these MTech course in civil engineering. Many times what happens is that many mechanical engineers are interested to take uh, structural engineering uh, in, the, in their masters. Uh, so that's a very uh, very common uh, thing. So they are they are eligible in this case. Uh, but the, but here for eligibility you need a gate score a valid gate score. So for example for the year of 2022, the valid gate score are for the year 2020 or 2021 and 2022. These are the valid gate scores. So similarly for the subsequent years. So for example, I think for, uh, although it is not announced, but I think the most probable gate scores for the year 2023 would be for the year 2023. That is the gate that happens in 2023 or the gate that happened this year or the gate that happened last year, that is 2021. Uh, but the gate paper you have for mechanical engineers who are willing to apply or wish to apply for this course in civil engineering, you need to write and score in the civil engineering paper of GATE. Second is the selection process. So in the selection process is 100% based on GATE score. So based on the GATE score of the applied candidates, uh, the students will be selected uh, and there is no other interviews or any other notes. The third is uh, study area. So there is a scope of, so you have to take a major uh, so there are five areas where you can take a major which are geotechnical engineering, water resources and environmental engineering, structural engineering, transportation systems engineering and dam engineering. So there are these are the five uh, majors that you can select. Also there is a option that you can select a optional minor. So you can say that I am a, uh, you can become an MTech in with a major in water resources and, and environmental engineering with a minor in say geotechnical engineering or you can be a major in structural engineering with minor in geotechnical engineering uh, or maybe major in geotechnical engineering and minor in structural engineering anything of that kind is possible uh, in the course so what happens is that when you get admitted you have to do a mandatory coursework for the first semester so let's come to the course now. So the course is divided into 64 credits. Uh, ISC follows a credit system in courses. So a total of 64 credits has to be met uh, during the uh, tenure of two years. Out of this, uh, 22 credits is for the dissertation project or the research project that you do in the last uh, semester or so. And the rest 42 credits that is will be you need to fulfill through courses so approximately generally that uh, the courses each course is kind of of three credits uh, so that means you have to do around uh, 14 courses uh, if each are considered of three credits 
then you have to take 14 courses and do one dissertation project of 22 credits to complete your credit score for uh, this and a good thing to mention here is that you, whatever is your grade as long as you pass in the course in the course you get the credit it doesn't matter how much is your uh, credits uh, how much is your grade in that particular course you get the credit so out of this 42 credits in the first semester you are supposed to do six courses so which with three credit each it is it comes to 18 credits so it's a very uh, heavy term the first uh, semester in this you will be taught uh, like there are one one courses of each uh, specialization uh, and structural engineering has two courses and then geotechnical has one transportation has one water resources as one and then i think mathematics uh, would be one so these are the courses then from the uh, based on your performance of the first semester and your uh, gate score and your performance your major will be decided so uh, the deciding factors are the so 70 percent of weightage will be given on your gate score and 30 percent uh, weightage will be given on the performance of the first semester or the gpa of the first semester okay or the term gpa of the first semester then you move on to the uh, next semester where you take again the courses of the major which you have been given based on your uh, choice as well as based on your performance so in this you have to do around 9 to 12 credits of the core major courses so there are some courses in the scheme of instructions there are some courses mentioned as the core courses of a particular major so for example in structural engineering there will be some core courses mentioned so you have to do or it is mandatory for you to do uh, those courses if you are choosing structural engineering as major similarly for all uh, the specializations there will be some courses that which is mandatory that you have to do. Then after fulfilling this, you can choose that either you can uh, go for a minor. Uh, so you can take any other uh, courses minor like I mentioned before. So whether if you are uh, pursuing say geotechnical engineering, but you want to do a minor in say water resources and environmental engineering. So you need to take at least uh, I think 12 credits for a minor so that means four courses uh, from another discipline for having a minor. so here it is not very clear but I feel that the course that you have already taken in the first semester also counts so you can take uh, if you take three more courses of three credits each that makes nine and one course you have already done in the first semester so uh, 12 so that makes the uh, 12 courses mandatory for a minor in other case you can also specialize more on the particular major that you have decided so for example you have taken transportation engineering and you want to so there are more courses that are offered at the department at an advanced level so you can also keep on doing those courses and you not uh, may not bother about the minors also there is a lot of other flexibilities at IISC so which means that if you want to do courses which you feel will be relevant to you or you wish to do those courses although that is not offered within your department if your uh, project supervisor uh, or your guide or whomever is assigned to you is okay with it then which is mostly the case then you can also take courses from other department for example when i did my masters i did my specialization in water resources and environmental engineering but i took a course in atmospheric sciences uh, and also I took a course in the computer science department which is a linear algebra course so like that you have a lot of options you can take courses from so for example say if you from uh, doing courses in structural engineering you can take courses in mechanical engineering you can if you are interested in say structural engineering you are interested in earthquakes so you can take courses in earthquakes if it is getting offered in the Art sciences department you can take courses even in sciences so if you are in uh, civil engineering department you can also take courses from physics uh, from mathematics 
from maybe chemical engineering, materials engineering. There is a, there is some freedom that is available, so you can also take courses from departments outside. The only criteria is that the faculty who is offering the course should be ready to take you, should understand that okay, what is your motivation to uh, take that course, as well as uh, your research supervisor or um, MTech guide should be. Uh, okay with you taking the course in that particular department and also you should the course must not be clashing so the timing of the course should not be clashing clashing with any of the uh, mandatory courses that you are supposed to take so if that these uh, criteria are met then you can uh, also take courses from uh, any any other department which you feel will be relevant for you and which you would like to uh, explore also, there is a system that you will audit courses in uh, IISC, so which means that these are credit courses. So you have to write exams, you have to write the assignments, submit the assignments, if there are quizzes, survive tests, etc. You have to complete those. But you can also audit courses. So what, what that means is that you don't write the exams, you don't give the assignments if the teacher doesn't want, want you to. Uh, and you don't bother how well you perform because that will not be reflected in your GPA. But you want like you like learning. You like the process of learning, and uh, you want to explore the uh, a few things. Uh, so that is an excellent option that is available in IISC. So I strongly recommend that if you want, you can audit some courses in summer. Actually, especially there are few courses which are um, offered mainly for audit purposes. So you can audit those courses. Although many faculties may want you to write the exams and write the assignments to bring some seriousness in the class uh, and also see that you learn something actually uh, but it is not mandatory and uh, but that is there is no harm in doing that because anyways if you don't score well uh, it doesn't matter your gpa you still get a good gpa in your majors uh, if you have and uh, that is an excellent way to explore a lot of options here in is so that's all I'll also share a few links about uh, the MTech course in civil engineering under the this video as well as uh, some other links from the IIC website. I'll also provide my uh, LinkedIn uh, page link so that if you have any questions and you uh, don't want to comment under this video, you can come to LinkedIn and message me personally and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching this video.